What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, Sunday football. I'm going to get ready to turn it back on here in a minute. But in today's video, we're going to talk about a man being arrested up in Rochester, New York for fraudulently buying and selling collectible sports cards. This is now about the fourth one I've seen in the past few months. And I think I'm going to start talking more and more as these pop up. There was another one that's being talked about out of Pennsylvania, one out of Illinois. If you guys have any links or anything, feel free to email me, tag me in a post in here or in a comment or something. Because I like to put the stuff out to show that it, it's actually now starting to be in the eyes of the law a lot more. So real quick background, Rochester, New York. I'm not too sure why they're saying a Greece man. I don't know if he was like from Greece, if he's not a United States citizen, whatever it may be. Just kind of weird it's worded that way. But he's arrested and charged with wire and mail fraud after he allegedly was fraudulently selling sports cards. So he did two things here. Um, let me see here. So first thing was he was buying sports cards from people. And I'll put a link to the article if you guys want to read it word for word type deal. It's, it's a real quick read, maybe like a minute, minute and a half. But he was buying stuff, negotiating the prices, and then they would send their payment to a mobile payment service. I guess an Apple Pay, something like that. I, I don't know what all that deals with. Instead of receiving the cards, the buyers then receive either empty boxes or cards of lower value. How often has that been going on? Nice to finally see somebody's getting busted for it. More of these thieves, scammers, uh, whatever else we use for slang terminology, they're going to get hit. Because people are fed up, and ever since sports cards became an immediate more and more two years ago, Oh, trust me, there's more eyes on to it now. A lot more eyes on to it now. So the other part was he was uh, accused of stealing cards from card sellers and everything on to it. So basically, it's just the old thing. He would go out there, pay for a card, use his credit card, get the item in the mail, and then call his credit card company and be like, hey... I'm disputing that. I didn't put that charge through. And then next thing you know, boom, gets the money back. Person's out the money. So real big on that because some of these guys I'm taking, they probably sent stuff certified where he had to sign for it. Um, don't know if it was FedEx, UPS, USPS, but I'm sure a lot more went on to it. It says it was six different victims from Florida, Ohio, Missouri, and Pennsylvania. $33,360 total in stolen or either way, it's wherever way. That's basically the total amount that he basically stole off of people. Other than that, it carries 20 years in prison and a $250,000 or quarter million dollar fine. Hopefully, he gets them both. Uh, it says he was on supervised release following federal fraud and identity theft convictions. Mm -mm -mm. I'm I'm really hoping that there's you know more of this stuff gets published out there. If you guys catch it, always feel free to email it to me because I like to put it out so we can start seeing. Hey, they're really cracking down on this stuff. I know thieves, criminals, um, scammers out there all think they're going to get away with it, but long run, you're not going to get away with it. I mean, this ain't a movie. They're going to catch you eventually, and if the law don't catch you, you're going to make the wrong person upset, and they're going to just. Dig in and find you. Never know. All right. Other than that, guys, uh, video Tuesday, quick PSA reveal. I already have that done. It's real quick. Wednesday, I'm going to hit the card show from Newburgh, Indiana. A lot of uh, people are now finding the channel out there. It was kind of weird because I was like, I just found you like two weeks ago, a week ago, three weeks ago. So it's kind of nice that more and more people are getting to see the content out there, being able to watch it and everything. Wasn't my old chippery self out in Newburgh. I was still feeling the effects with the asthma. I'm getting a little bit better today. Haven't had to stop and cut this video yet, so that's always a positive. But, yeah, I was definitely feeling it uh, yesterday out there in the lungs and just, like, real weak. Like, I guess winded. I don't know how you could really word it properly. But as for myself, you guys, real heads up, I pretty much broke even between table feed, gas, food, stuff like that going out there. Uh... A lot of dealers, all same thing. Um, there won't be any dealers in the video, but we're going to discuss some of the things we talked about and see probably going to end up happening here in the future. Uh, trying to think here. A couple of dealers did do real well, but I did notice they were selling like a bulk at like 50, 60 percent of sold eBay prices, or say they had a. Hmm, see, just got see my last main gun yet. 
uh, they're like a thirty-two hundred dollar or thirty-two hundred count of dollar cards. They were selling for like twelve, fifteen hundred stuff like that there. So stuff like that there, you know, some people did real well on too. But if you were there, set up like I know there was people with like WWE cards and that. Nobody was buying, and if they were, they wanted to. They were offering like sixty, seventy percent cost, like they were the dealer out there. And to me, why would I sell it for less? I can get. 88% of whatever the final value fee or final uh, sell is on eBay, you know, makes no sense to me. Plus sales tax and all that. We'll cover all that in the other video. Um, appreciate it, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. Enjoy your Sunday football out there. I'll be on watching the Steelers tonight. So we'll see how Pickett does tonight. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one.